Hey everyone, Ashish Tani this time from Innovate Yourself. Welcome back to another exciting video in the series of ESP IDF. In today's video, we are going to create another video on the TM1637 module, which we have already covered in a previous video as well. And if you haven't watched that video, I'll simply recommend that you watch that video first so that you'll get a more clarity on TM1637 module and how do we display the characters and the numbers on the TM1637 module. In today's video, let's talk like what we are going to cover. So today we will be covering up that how do we make our own IoT based clock which will display the timings based on the real time real server and accordingly you will be getting the uh, values based on the time zone you are in right now. So this is all that I'll be covering up today and in fact this entire thing we are going to uh, work uh, with ESP IDF and the ESP32 along with the main module that is the TM1637 module. So I hope you will really like this and now let's not waste time and let's straight forward go to the project and let's understand how are we going to make this entire clock. So let's move ahead. First thing, let's understand that how are we going to make the connections of the ESP32 module with the TM1637 module so that we can get the final functionality done. All right, everyone. So now let's first understand that how do we make the connections of TM1637 with the ESP32 module. So basically, in this TM1637, we have total four pins, which is clock, uh, data pin, VCC, and ground. So basically, here we have connected the ground pin to the ground, uh, which is uh, like over here this is the first one over here and uh, the next is vcc which i have connected in here which is connected to pin number 3v3 which is 3.3 uh, volt and uh, the next two pins are your uh, data pin and the clock pin and here your data pin is connected to pin number 21 which is uh, G21 over here in uh, ESP32 and the uh, other one which is clock that is connected to pin number 22. So in this way we have made the simple connections of ESP32 with TM1637. I hope this is clear to you. Now that you have understood that how do we make the connections of the TM1637 module with ESP32, it's time to move ahead and to understand the coding functionality so that we can understand how exactly we are going to get the final things working on the TM1637 module. So let's move ahead. All right, everyone. Now let's understand the coding part. And in this coding part, I'll simply explain you all about the IoT clock so that you can understand like what all things are going on in the back end. And accordingly, you can visualize like how your IoT clock is working. And in fact, in the real time. So this is all that I'll be covering up today. Now, uh, let me go to the coding part because the code I've already uploaded to the Git repository. So you can directly download it and you can start uh, implementing it directly without any error. So uh, let me go there so that I can clone it onto my system and I can show you that how we're going to work on it. So let me go there. So this is the Git repository where I've already uploaded the code and uh, I'll do one thing. I'll simply copy the HTTPS uh, URL for this, right? I'll copy it and now I'll simply clone it. So let me do that. I'll open up the terminal. I'll paste it on desktop. Let me do it. So you can see it is done. Now I can go to the desktop and I can simply check where I have my uh, repository, right? So let me go there. So you can see everyone, 
this is the project repository or let's say project directory in which I have the complete coding part, right? So now let me open it up in the Visual Studio. So this is Visual Studio. Let me open it up. All right, everyone. So you can see I have opened the project on my Visual Studio and here you can see that I have all the uh, files and uh, the requirement things over here, right? So this is main.c in which we have the main code. We have tm1637 header files uh, so that we can accordingly call the functionalities which is required to display the uh, timings on the tm1637 module. And in fact, this thing I've already shown you in my previous video also. If you're not familiar with it, just check out our previous video so that you will get a better clarity on the tm1637 module. So this is about that. And accordingly, we have the configuration file as well, where I've already made the configuration changes, which is required for this project. And accordingly, you can also start implementing with it, right? So this is done according to the ESP32 module, right? So now let me explain you what all things I'll be having in here and how this project is going to work. So main.c I've already opened. Now in this, what exactly we are doing is we are just going to display the timings on the TM1637 module and the timings are not going to be set up, let's say the static values. It's going to be a completely dynamic value. And in fact, we will simply say that this is going to be a real time values, which is going to be fetched from a real server or let's say from a real SNTP server for basically your clock timing, right? And in fact, this clock timing is going to be displayed based on the time zone you are in right now, right? So right now I'm in India, so I'll do it according to that. But if you are in a different time zone, you have to set the configurations accordingly, right? So this is all about this. Now, let me give you a quick overview about the code so that you can understand like what all things are I'm doing in here, right? So in this project, what exactly we are doing is like initially we are simply setting up the pins which we are using right in here, right? For the clock and for the data pins, right? The configurations for the pin out will go is going to be the same just like a previous video, right? And accordingly, let me start with a main function which is app underscore main, right? So as usual, this is the function which we are running in the background. That's the reason we have used this x task create. And this is the main function in which we have the entire functionality. Let me go in here, right? So initially we are simply setting up the pinouts so that we can initialize our TM1637 module so that we can display the uh, values on it, right? And accordingly uh, over here, what exactly we are doing is we are simply checking up our initial timings uh, of your ESP32 basically. And after that, we have set up a condition just to verify that do we have that year or let's say the current time which we have read right now, if we have that year uh, less than this amount or not. If it is less than this, then that means the timing is uh, absolutely fine. But if in case it's not the correct one, then we have to fetch from the internet, right? And for fetching the data from the internet, we have a server from where we are fetching the timing value and in fact the real time value based on the time zone which we are going to work in right so this is basically for that and for that we have this function which is obtain underscore time let me go in there now over here we are simply initializing the uh, modules uh, so that we can set it up for esp32 right and accordingly uh, we will simply fetch the value of your timings and but before connecting uh, to the server, we need to first connect to the internet, right? And for connecting to the internet, your ESP32 should first connect to the nearest router with the internet connectivity so that it can accordingly connect to the server and it can patch the information or let's say the timing for you. That is what exactly we are going to do right here, right? So for that, we have called this function accordingly, right? And over here, we have all these functionalities, right? And uh, this is basically the entire function for fetching the value from the time server, right? And we have a time server over here, like uh, config underscore SNTP underscore time underscore server. So we have a URL for that. And that URL particularly is this one. 
pool.ntp.org so this is the server from where the real time value is going to be fetched so this is uh, from where we are actually fetching up the entire data right and accordingly we are just storing up the values uh, right in here right so this is uh, all about this right so this entire functionality is for that and once we have fetched the data we are actually going to disconnect it uh, because we believe that we don't have to fetch the values again and again right so that is the reason we are just fetching up that value one time and after that we are just processing the uh, data without internet only right so that it will actually uh, operate without internet also right so this is how exactly we are going to do and in fact this is the real uh, industrial application this is how exactly it should be right so this is all that we are doing in here right and once we have patched the data we will again come back in here and now we will update the uh, timings into the now variable so you can see this is now variable which is basically for timing so we are just updating the values in this right and obviously like this now is not going to show you the complete timings in fact it is going to display you the uh, timings in seconds and that seconds is calculated from the date which i explained you in the previous video also and you can see the timings on your screen as well right so this is the date from when the timings has been calculated since now uh, that is in seconds so this is what exactly we have passed and now once we have passed that value accordingly what we can do is we can simply display the timings based on the time zone now we can see we are setting up like in which time zone we are right now just because i'm in india so i'm setting up the time zone as ist 530 right so this is how exactly we are having in here and accordingly we are just uh, setting up the locale for that and uh, all these things we are doing and once we will uh, do this strf uh, time we will simply uh, let's say extract the entire information uh, of this uh, timings that we have got in terms of seconds and we will convert that timings into a proper time format which will represent your uh, hour your minutes your seconds your year your day your month your like everything all the information related to the timing it will show you that right and that we are displaying in here right so in this way we are just displaying it but the main functionality is not uh, this one the main functionality is going to come inside this loop because now once we have passed the current timing after that we are not connecting to the internet again and again in fact we have got the current timing and every second we are just increasing this timing or let's say we are just increasing this variable now and we are just increasing the value of this uh, by one every second so that we don't have to be dependent on that one right so this is how exactly we are doing and here we are simply going to display the value uh, on tm1637 module so that your values is uh, synchronized with the real time right and you can display it on tm1637 module as well right so this is how exactly we are doing and uh, this one display time with blinking dots is actually just to represent like uh, uh, how we are uh, displaying the time and in fact we are displaying the time with those dots and those dots are going to blink uh like accordingly right every 500 milliseconds it's gonna do it right so this is how exactly we are doing it and you can see this is how i'm updating it every second right so this is the entire code i hope you have got a clarity on this now that we have understood the code now let's upload the code and let's see it in action so let me upload that so for that let me connect my esp32 to my system so that i can upload it and i can see it so let me do that so you can see now it is uh, connecting to the wi-fi network and accordingly now you can see it is trying to connect to the server you can see pool.ntp.org so it is trying to connect and now you can see it is connected to the network and this is the current timing that it is showing we are not alone they are among us as the skies light up they believe we are blissfully unaware so this is all about the today's uh, project i hope you have really liked it and if you have liked it do click on the like button and if you are new to this channel and if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, do click on the subscribe button so that you will not miss any videos from our channel.
And also, if you have any queries, feel free to leave a comment below in the comment section so that I can help you as soon as possible. So this was it. See you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye and have a nice day. Bye-bye, guys.